Okay, the manipulator on Atrio doesn't look like an arm. It's, it's metal. It's got, it does have similar functions to an arm in that it has an azimuth that rotates the shoulder. It's got a shoulder up and down. It's got an elbow. It's got a wrist pitch. It's got a wrist yaw. It's got a wrist rotate. And it's got a jaw open close. So it, 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 it's an attempt to be similar to the human arm. It's not, it's not real slow. The jaw opens and closes quite fast. You can move the manipulator just for a, a demonstration. You can move it this fast fairly easily and that's with a 30 pound load on it. So Nereus is a hybrid vehicle in that it can operate as an AUV or a remotely operated vehicle and, and the manipulator and sampling only will be done when it's in ROV mode. It has, as I said before, seven functions and it has a, a pretty good capability to pick things up gently and not break them. The Atro manipulator arm is quite dexterous and with care uh, and pilot practice you can be very careful and not, not damage things that we're picking up. So it's actually uh, quite capable. We're going to have three small utility cameras. Those cameras are going to be looking to it. One of them will be looking in the sample storage area. Another one will be looking out at the front of the vehicle in front of uh, uh, the manipulator where the manipulator's prime kinematic workspace is. And then we're going to have another uh, the camera mounted on the brow, which is a, a higher quality camera that will be used as well uh, that also points at the area where the manipulator is working. So, so your interface is all visual.